Hi, I'm Tenny from Mini Bowl Designs. Today I'm back out in the factory. Uh, this morning I made a batch of uh, SS remotes and a batch of original bongos. I had some orders for that. I'm not shipping today, but I thought I'd uh, build a few things today and get ready for Monday morning. Now, uh, on this video, <laughs> just for grins and giggles, I had, some, I had somebody email me and ask about uh, the height of the flame and how they could vary that. And they were thinking that they were going to uh, vary it by moving their remote up and down. Okay, here's my thought on that. That'll work, but it's kind of tricky. And every time you do it, you've got to get that exact same height, and you may not be able to. So, let me show you a simple way to uh, get the stove to burn uh, with the intensity or the flame height that you want. Uh, and kind of personalize the stove for your type of cooking. Now this person was baking and uh, they wanted uh, the flame a little lower than the one they saw on mine, my last video. So, uh, let me see if I can find it. Let me fire this up and uh, show you what I'm up to. I'll move the camera a little closer. Okay, I've got a fair amount of wick. Uh, out on this stove, and you can see that the flame is uh, it's it's pretty big. So what I want to do is I'm going to uh, blow this out and take my scissors, and I'm going to cut it off right there. Fire it up and see what that looks like after a little short period of time. I've this stove, when I did that, I kind of squeezed some alcohol. It's going to take a second for this to burn back. Okay, uh, that's better, but it's not really down where uh, the guy that emailed me. It's not really down where he wants it. So uh, let's go one more time. And this time we're going to trim it right down level with the top. Maybe uh, uh, just a little over a sixteenth of an inch above the top. Now, I think that this is about what he was looking for. And you can see that it's going to burn uh, just like that right straight ahead. It's not going to change because I'm not changing the height of the remote. I'm changing the length of the wick. And you can see uh, that that's probably about the right size flame for a 30-minute cake. And that's what he's doing is, is 30 minutes. So, uh, just for grins and giggles... Let's uh, mix up a cake and uh, see how it works. Okay, I'm more than <laughs> okay. I'm more than a little rusty at this. I haven't cooked one of these cakes in this setup uh, for a long time. But uh, let's see if I can gather everything up here, and we'll mix up a cake right here in front of you. I got to refuel my remote. Want to get everything ready here? I'll turn the camera back on. And uh, we'll bake a cake. While I'm doing that, the oven's preheated. Okay, here we go. I got a pot here. Uh, let me see, this one maybe. And I'm going to take this cake, which is uh, Betty Crocker Just Add Water Blueberry. And I'm going to get the top off from here. I'm going to dump that in a 10 centimeter reducer. And I'm going to put in a uh, half a cup of water. Now i got to walk over by the stove and get a spork. There we go. And we'll stir this up real quick. Show we get all down in the corner where the powder can clot, cake up, and uh, not get. 
get dissolved. Okay, we got a, got a cake there. Now, we got to have a cook pot, which I <laughs> couldn't find one of these. I can actually make another one. And some olive oil. Uh, olive oil seems to work pretty good, so that's what we're going to use is olive oil. And we got to smear that on there and get that all around, all the way up on the sides. Got a little bit too much in there. There we go. There we go. There's the olive oil. Now we're going to dump the cake into the pan. Okay, now, one of the big secrets for me on this is the bake ring, which I have right here if I can find it. It's right in front of me. I just got to spot it. There it is. Uh, this thing that holds the pan up off the bottom. Uh, a good high one, this is like three-quarter inch, is a good idea. The higher it is, the less chance you have of burning. Let's see what you got here. There we go. All setting in there. The less chance you have of burning, the higher that ring is. So I'm putting in a, a three-quarter inch ring. And got to find my stopwatch. Get my stopwatch going. Okay. Got my remote. Uh, I got the flame on the stove where I wanted. I'll go turn the light out so we can look at that. Now, let's see. There we go. That's a, I believe that's about what he was looking for. And uh, the wick is so low that it's burning right against the aluminum. And I think that's the reason why I'm getting the yellow flame. Doesn't hurt anything and doesn't seem to uh, smut up the pan or anything, but it is kind of yellow. Uh, and that's a brand new wick. After that wick burns for a while, it probably will burn blue. So I'll turn the camera back on in, oh, I don't know, 25 minutes and we'll run a a, a test rod down through it and see if it's uh, cooked or not. Okay, it's coming up on 25 minutes, so let's move the camera in and see what we've got. I'm going to run a rod down. I think that's done. So I'm going to blow the heat out. And I'm going to let this cool down a little bit before I attempt to take it out. Uh, and then after it cools down just a little bit, we'll uh, move it over and put it on this paper towel. Okay, it's been a few minutes, maybe three or four. Let's take this out and uh, see what we got here. I'd say that was, uh, you know, by by my standards, I'd say that was pretty successful. I'm Jenny from Mini Bowl Design. <laughs> Don't hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have some fun today, and try to have a really great day. Bye-bye.